Hey guys, it's Alex here, back with another Dave Dialogue. Today we get something a little special. Yep, it's a nighttime edition of Dave Dialogue. So Dave is out and about, and today we're gonna be discussing what to do when your frog bites you. Now, before we get started, I just wanna clarify that of course, my boy Dave has never bitten me before or come anywhere close to it. Every time I've handled him, the worst he's done is I think he peed on me one time and jumped away another. But uh, yeah, Dave is uh, Dave is not ferocious towards me in any way. And uh, for most of you guys, I expect your frogs are the same. Of course, uh, there are exceptions to the rule. So I'm gonna go ahead and discuss uh, what you should do in case your frog is particularly ornery when you're handling them or uh, decides your finger is looking a little juicy today and uh, they're feeling a bit peckish. When you first get bitten, uh, you need to make sure you don't panic. Frogs <laughs> do not bite very hard. Their strategy is not to uh, take a bite out of their prey and go on their merry way. They, uh, they try and swallow anything that they get in their mouth whole. So when they bite your finger, uh, it's probably, I mean, you'd have to have some real fragile skin for it to draw blood. It's probably just gonna be like kind of uh, pressure on your, uh, on your skin and it shouldn't be an extremely painful experience. Um, so don't don't panic when they latch on. It's probably not gonna leave a mark, and if it does, uh, it's not gonna be a, a big deal. You're not gonna need stitches. Though I should add, if your frog does draw blood, uh, it, you don't need to go to a hospital. You won't need to go to the ER. Apply a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol and maybe some Neosporin if it's, <laughs> they really cut you deep if you got a pac-man frog and he just took off a finger then yeah I'd, I'd maybe go to a hospital but rubbing alcohol a band-aid maybe some neosporin and you should be fine okay but before you get to treating your wounds you probably want to know how the heck you're going to get your frog off your finger when he's taking a bite you definitely don't want to try and shake him off now not a lot of people know this but frog's stomach is uh, located below its mouth. So you uh, jostle your finger around in there and you can do some serious and permanent damage to your frog. And uh, especially when you're tr flinging them around with your finger uh, and they're still attached to you. And uh, regardless of where their stomach is, you can always do some damage with that. Uh, so definitely don't go for that. What you really wanna do is, well, wait. Yeah, I know it's a bit anticlimactic, but uh, time is not of the essence when, you're, uh, when your frog decides your finger looks like a worm. Uh, they're not injecting any venom into you. Um, there's no poison or nasty uh, saliva diseases that your frog's gonna give you. And eventually, they will let go on their own. Once they realize that they cannot take <laughs> your entire hand and eat it, they will uh, relinquish their bite and uh, you can move on with your life. Maybe get a Band-Aid or two. And I'd probably put up my frog for the day. I mean, they definitely need some space after that experience, right? Now, you may be asking yourself, if this is a frequent thing that happens with your frog when you try and handle them, why? Do they really think that your hand is that good looking? Are you feeding them enough? Well, the simple answer is, not all frogs are the same. Not every frog enjoys interacting with humans. Some are shy, I mean especially wild frogs. You try and approach one of them and they'll, they'll lose their mind. The only defense that a, a frog has really is its bite. I mean, look at that thing. It's basically a blob with a mouth and two eyes and some suction cups. It, it doesn't have any defenses other than a bite. And uh, if that happens a lot, then maybe your frog is not interested in handling uh, as much as you are. And I know, it sucks, but there's not really much you can do about that other than try and build some rapport. Maybe try hand feeding them. Or, um, well, I guess if he's biting you a bunch, uh, buy some tongs. Definitely don't use your fingers. But there are other ways to try and get your frog to trust you. But uh, again, they are, you know, animals. It's kind of hard to reason with a frog. And uh, if they don't want to hang out with you, they really don't want to hang out with you, uh, that's how they'll let you know. Well, that about does it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me on this night edition of uh, Dave Dialogue. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys around. Don't forget to wear a mask, and uh, stay inside if you can, guys. I'd like to go back to college at some point.